media types or MIME types are essentially the different ways in which we structure data for the internet. And when we're looking at HTTP, these are described by the content type header. So you can see in this example here, we have the content type application slash X WWW form URL encoded, which is the classic format for HTTP body parameters, where we have a name and a value separated by an equal sign. And we can add in ampersands for uh, additional parameters like so. And traditionally, this is probably the most common format, uh, the most common media type that is used within HTTP requests, but very popular today are both uh, JSON and XML. And often you're gonna have situations where you might want to convert between these different representations of data. And conveniently, there is an extension available for us to use, which does exist in Burp's BAP store. It is called the Content Type Converter. And quite simply, it lets us convert from JSON to XML, XML to JSON, body parameters to JSON, and body parameters to XML. Unfortunately, we can't take JSON or XML and convert back to the body parameters, a classic HTTP parameter style. And the reason for this is that with JSON and JSON objects and XML documents, we can represent complex structures that you can't represent with body parameters. So uh, I think the developer of this extension just thought it probably was not work, worth the work to support the number of cases where such a mapping makes sense uh, and to you know come up with some sort of error handling logic to war you know warn the user when there's uh, some improper mapping going backwards. Um, nevertheless, you might have a use case for that. Uh, and so unfortunately, in those situations, you're on your own <laughs> converting back. Probably an easy way to do it is to use a tool, like use like a command line parser processor like JQ for JSON, and I'm sure there's some equivalent for XML. Do that on the command line or use a tool like CyberChef, convert your data and, and put it back into your request. But in this case, we're looking at the content type converter extension, and it's very easy to use. So we have our request here, which specifies the content type again for HTTP you know, classic body parameters, URL style parameters. If I right click in the request here, I go to extensions and content type converter. It gives us the options to convert to XML or to convert to JSON. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Uh, and now we have, uh, we have JSON, right? Now, some issues that you might run into here is that it requires both the content type uh, and the data to correspond to um, a the, the same type before you convert it. So just to give you an example here, uh, in this case here, we have the content type of JSON, and I'm just going to change the structure of the data uh, to not be JSON, to be the classic HTTP parameter style. And in this case, if I right click in the request and I go to extensions, uh, content type converter, and I try to convert it to JSON now, all it does is uh, it changes the content. Well, actually, it keeps the content type the same because it was already JSON, but it doesn't actually convert the parameters in the body. So something to be aware of. Um, the reason why I mention that is I think it might be handy sometimes if you're working with JSON, uh, unless you're using some type of, uh, of, of code completion tool or something to uh, easily um, structure your, your JSON for you so you're not typing out you know, the curly braces and the, um, the colons and the double quotes, it might be easy as a shorthand to keep a request where we have, um, you know, the, the classic parameter format here and type out the parameters that you want. Um, you know, param1, value, param2, value, and then convert that to JSON. Um, just because it's probably a little quicker to type that out. And it may even be easier if you have a number of parameters, for example, like if you have guessed uh, a large number of parameters, or if you've uh, extracted some parameters from JavaScript or somewhere else, and you're, you want to ask the question, right, they're, they're already not in the JSON format or XML or whatever the application consumes. And you want to ask the question, you know, does the application actually process or handle these parameters? Um, if you're if you're copying these into uh, the body here and then manually formatting them for JSON, that's going to be a very inefficient way to do that. You might be able to do it very quickly um, using this tool. So that's why I bring that up as an example. 
uh, there are obviously better ways to do that, to take uh, a set of parameters and process them into, into JSON. And we'll look at some other command line alternatives and other tools in later videos.